we have a unit circle with radius 1. When we increase the radius, the circle expands. The circle's simplicity and beauty is very satisfying until this question came to my mind. What if the radius is i? I can shrink the circle to a point, but the radius becomes 0, not i. So we have to go back to algebra. This is the formula for a normal circle. Since we allow the radius to be i, for the sake of fairness, we need to allow x and y to be complex numbers as well. So x is a plus bi, y is c plus di. I will keep the color consistent so it's easier to tell which is which. Expand the formula, we have the following equation. The equation actually describes a high dimensional surface in 4D space, particularly. The real part and the imaginary part set up two constraints, and we are going to find the intersection of them. But this is not easy because we live in a 3D world. It's not easy for us to intuitively visualize 4D structures. But we can project this 4D curve or structure onto 3D space. What I'm going to do is to set b as a constant and move it to the right hand side. Then we have two equations we can play with in 3D space. Remember, b is the imaginary part of x. So the 3D structure we are going to see is a slicing of the 4D structure using the knife b is a constant. In this animation, the gray surface is defined by the real part of the equation. The blue lines are the actual intersection of the real part surface and the imaginary part surface. So they are technically the boundary of this imaginary circle. The gray surface is called a hyperbola. It is created by rotating a hyperbola around one of its principal axes. Complex numbers are crazy. This surely doesn't look like a circle. Please remember, this is not the actual 4D structure. This is a projection onto 3D space. So you have to keep varying B in order to see the slice of this 4D structure. Now let's project this 4D structure to the 3D surface that the real part of x, a, is a constant. Because a squared plus 1 is always positive, so our hyperboloid will only contain one sheet, which means it's always connected. And we do see that when a is 0, a unit circle appears on the yz plane, which means both the real parts of our original x and y are 0. We have a pure imaginary circle. If we are slightly off, the familiar circle disappears. I have to admit that it's very hard for me to imagine this 4D curve, but the fascination introduced by the complex number is really amazing.